The silken texture circuit, as we have it implemented here at Rupert Neve Designs, is one of the elements that Rupert had been chasing for a couple of decades. We wanted the ability to provide the harmonic content, uh, the richness, and that distortion characteristic that is so sought after with the vintage designs of his from the late 60s through the mid 70s. Initially, this was attempted in the AMAC 9098 range with the warmth and glow and sheen elements and then perfected here at Rupert Neve Designs with our silk red and silk blue. In the early days, I go back to, again, the vintage Neve consoles and Neve recording equipment. They were very simple transformer designs. That was the technology that was known in the 1960s. The harmonic content and characteristics of the transformer were inherent and were always present. Even at low levels, there was a little bit of harmonic, third harmonic content. And as you pushed the transformer, you got more third and started to add in second. And that is what is characteristically known as the Neve sound. Pushing those transformers, getting that added harmonic content, but you couldn't turn it off. It was always there. The only way to reduce the harmonic content was to reduce your signal level, keep the transformer lower in core saturation, you'd have lower harmonic content. Modern transformer design utilizes a feedback winding that can compensate for all of the transformer distortion characteristics, or 99% of the transformer distortion characteristics. So you can achieve a transformer output that can produce full signal levels over the full audio band with very, very low distortion characteristics. Then, to take that a step further, by taking the feedback parameters of the transformer and filtering out some of the feedback, you can bring the transformer back to a vintage style where the inherent characteristics of third and second harmonic distortion are allowed to come back out. Silk has been developed and enhanced over a number of products and development cycles, all having the same basic fundamental characteristic of allowing second and third harmonic content to come out. What we do with the red and the blue in Silk is frequency contouring of where those harmonics are allowed to come out. So if you want more low frequency harmonic content to enhance the low frequency characteristics, Blue Silk reduces the feedback in a low frequency area of the signal spectrum and allows more harmonic content in the lower frequencies. Similarly, in red silk, filtering is applied that allows the mid-range areas to pull the feedback out filtered to just those areas and allow the harmonic content to enhance that frequency spectrum. Silk is there to allow the user to take the modern transformer design and bring some of the vintage characteristics into that, which are things that we know and we love from all the great records that were made on all those Neve consoles in the 70s and 80s.